guys, it's Stephen and Phil here back on footy.com with yet another kit review. It's blazing hot outside in Manchester at the moment, but uh, we're going to look at a kit to decide if that is hot or not. <laughs> it's a tenuous link. I went for it. Nice, but nice it's, bold. Uh, I'm sorry. It's Watford's uh, home share of the 2019-20 season. The surprise package of last year, many people would say. Mm -hmm. uh, they've really established themselves around the mid-table of the Premier League now, and hopefully higher, and hopefully that's where their shirt will be finishing today as well in this kit review. But don't forget, if you are new to this channel, hit subscribe on footy.com's YouTube channel, which is where you are now, because it's the home of kit culture and reviews and all that kind of stuff. And we've got loads more coming this week as well, so you don't want to miss a video. Phil, Watford have announced their 2019-20 kit, and it's another different take on their mm. very um, very striking colour mm. style. Um, what do you make of this? And maybe explain to some people how it's changed compared to last season's. Mm. Yeah, great question, because you're right. It's uh, interesting, Watford, they're very much... Over the past few years, they've tried quite a few different designs, you know, different styles. They're, yeah. they're one of those teams where you sort of identify more with the colours than you do a sort of striped kit or a plain kit or anything like that. So you are so jealous of them right now. <laughs> yeah. They're getting away with this. Oh, it's yeah. The colours, you're right, well, isn't it? well, and the thing is, it's like, yeah, I think it's a lot better than the eBay kit. Um, yeah, colours. We'll start with the colours because, you know, they are one of those teams who have the, the benefit, I guess, of a good scheme, which... Typically, it looks quite nice. It's not you very know, used often, very often. It's, <coughs> it's so not, you know, the, so there's some teams like Dortmund who don't have as much red, so they have a nice kind of, it's like a Dortmund twist, if you like. Yeah, a, yeah. A nice, a nice combo, so... So for this really one, good. they've gone for basically the half and half thing. They I have. think last year they had it almost like a traditional stripes vibe. Is that they right? Had a one, yeah, which wasn't wasn't a particularly kind of classic Watford thing either. No. Um, but it, I really like last year's kit. They've had an all yellow one before. They've had one yes. with a big black stripe across it. So they, they yep. change it all the time, don't they, they? They do. They do change it quite a lot. Yeah, if you look kind of year to year, Watford also had a really interesting one of kits, like some interesting manufacturers. Um, you know, kind of often quite obscure, small, small manufacturers but I must say I do think they're, <coughs> they're getting a good deal a good deal with Adidas <coughs> sorry if you think about a lot of the Adidas kits this year yep. <coughs> sorry sorry don't worry about it they're not You're particularly right. yeah, they're not Plus particularly I'll be, inventive chest, go for it it's, <laughs> yeah. it's, uh, it's good honestly I think, I think Adidas have, have clearly paid a bit of attention to them um, the thing I like about this as well as, as the kind of design which I do think looks good in the half and half but it's also the sponsor is one of the better sponsors. I love the way they've done that. Yeah. The whole like two colour thing. I mean, they had no choice but to do that almost. But sometimes yeah. sometimes they really don't take the obvious to really do these sponsors. Well, like. it reminds me of, so I said they mix up the kit a lot. But recently they did have another half and half kit, I think. I can't remember what year it was. But I seem to remember they had like a, a, a all red sponsor, which yeah. looked fine. But there's something about this sponsor for this year's shirt which looks a little bit more interesting, given the fact that you don't see that a lot, actually. Effectively, kind of a half-and-half half sponsor, you know? Yeah, I, yeah. I think it's great. It really looks good. You know... It's, it's that rare example of a, a betting company that doesn't yeah, actually book you with a sponsor. Exactly. I honestly, like, you know, that sponsor on a lot of shirts would probably be an eyesore. Um, it's got all the kind of classic tropes of a betting sponsor where it's a bit ugly... It's got yeah. some, you know, Chinese lettering as well. It, it, one of those things... It's quite, quite small, which is good. They have, yeah. yeah exactly. it, it works really well in, in the scheme. I think as well, just simple things like having... I think I like the amount of red, using it on the three stripes, on the cuffs as well. See, I've never really thought about Watford with red, but it's literally in the crest. So it's like, mm. you know, it's just never really crossed my mind, but now you see yeah. it kind of makes a lot of sense. But yeah, and in it's some... an interesting colour scheme, isn't it? The it bright, is, yeah. Little red and black, but... Yeah, I think in some previous years, they've, they've not used as much of it, but yeah. I think it does does give them a bit of an extra identity. Um, I do really like it. I think, you know, it's, it's one of those kits which didn't kind of wow me when I first saw it. Um, but honestly, like when I look at it and I look at the fact that, again, you know, Watford, um, it's quite, a, it's a development on last year, so they've changed it up. Do the fans um, like this one? I, be, I believe so, yeah. From from what I've seen, I, I don't know many Watford fans, but the ones that I've sort of seen comments on it seem quite positive. I yeah. think it's definitely one of those kids. I think it's pretty sad. It doesn't like, it, it, it doesn't blow me away. It's oh. first time I've looked at him and being honest today, like, but I think it's all right. Yeah, I think they've done a pretty solid job. Yeah. Uh, Maybe once again it's because, and with all due respect to what they're not quite as high profile as Juventus, that the, the whole mm. them changing up their aesthetic doesn't bother me as much. Mm. Well, maybe it's the colour thing. Maybe the colour is more yeah. open to that kind of thing. Well, I do but think as well. It doesn't cut. It doesn't strike me too much. Yeah, the, the and, departure. and the good thing. So yeah, to compare to Juve, obviously Juve. When we talked on our video, it was the fact that we were losing what was essentially very much the kit identity of the club yeah. in the stripes, 
With Watford, they've had, had this pink as well. And the pink, yeah, it felt they were trying trying too much to kind of innovate on, on the design. With Watford, they've had half and half, I think, a couple of times before. And certainly, they've been yeah. a lot more progressive in general. So Solid. It feels really good. I like the kit a lot. So this is the bit where we give it a score then, basically. Um, uh, as you can see <coughs> next to me on screen now, we've got a very crowded list of uh, scores there so much I had to mm. zoom in on my laptop then so Phil could see it <laughs> uh, basically uh, yeah this is what we've got so far Chelsea just comfortably been at around the 80s there mm. and we've got a whole bunch of teams in the 70s 80s 90s Phil where's this one going for you this one I think as a reference point I'm going to look at something like maybe the Dortmund kit similar colour scheme um, I actually think this is pushing it you know despite the design perhaps not being as interesting so Dortmund you had the kind of nice pattern on the sleeves this yeah. one doesn't have that but it just does what it's trying to do really well with the half and half kit. It's probably not as high as that, given that it's not quite as... It's not enough flair for me to push in the 80s. But I do think this is in the, in the 70s and probably the higher 70s, actually. Um, cool. And I'm going to give it a 78, I think, okay. you know, which is quite high, you know, compared to if you look at some of the other kits. But actually, I do think... It reminds me a lot of the Spurs home kit, which I think was of the clean aesthetic. Um, but I, yeah, I don't think it for me to be in the eighties. It needs something a little bit more. Yeah, I think that's fair. Daring, but I think it's know, a pretty solid kit as well. It, I think it, it's it does quite grow in you. Yeah, yeah, it's a decent score. And let us know as ever in the comments what you make of that. Is Phil being a bit too generous with Watford there, or should it be even lower or higher? Whatever. Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget as well. There's absolutely loads of videos, obviously, about every shirt that you can possibly think of. Well, not them all yet, but we'll be covering <laughs> basically all the Premier League shirts and loads of the major European ones over the coming months. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Comment below with your score and your rating. And we'll be back tomorrow, probably with the Spurs away kit. Mm. Then we've got, also this week, uh, Sheffield United, Norwich and Villa. We're going to do the new boys in the Premier League. So hang on for those videos. I've been Stephen. This is Phil. See you very soon.